we'll now do another titration using a different indicator. In this case, it's a two-color indicator, bromocresol green. And two-color indicators, you approach slightly differently. The first thing you need is color comparisons. So in this case, I'm going to put a little bit of base into one and a little bit of acid into the other because bromocresol green is not a one color indicator. Phenolphthalein, you're going colorless to pink. In the case of bromocresol green, you're going from yellow to blue. And it's kind of hard to tell what the difference is, or at least what halfway is. So you make up these color comparisons. You just need a little splash of each kind in a small container. I'm using LMIs. You can use small beakers. But your titration will go from yellow to blue. And the end point will be the green halfway in between. Now here we have another aliquot of acid. One, two, three, four. Now, I'm adding a little extra for the purpose of the camera, but you can manage with two or three mils, two or three drops, excuse me. I've read the beginning volume of this, and so we're ready to titrate. Now, as I add that, notice we're getting a blue splash in the middle. As soon as I swirl, it disappears because we're nowhere near the end point of this titration. But I keep swirling, I keep adding, and the blue is taking longer and longer to disappear. So, there we go. Probably a good idea to wash things down. Again, you'll see the color in the middle taking longer and longer to be swirled away. This is an indication that you're getting reasonably close to your end point. Mm. And I managed to overshoot that one by two drops. So that's annoying, but there we go. That's 20.2. Uh, so I'll know for the next one that I can run it quickly to about half a mil before that and try again. Adding the base into this, you notice that we're getting a nice blue swirl happening in the middle. And I've got a vague idea of where this one is going to change, so I let it run until we're close to that volume, which we are now. Wash down. Okay. If you look, what I think we have there is a green that is halfway between the yellow and the blue. It's a lot easier to see that rather than alone. Have I gone too far? Is it too much? If you've got the color comparisons, you're better off. Now at this point, I don't need to wait for this, but lift it up so that it's outside of the butterfly clamp 
and again read the final volume and write it down in your notebook. That's how to titrate using both single color indicators and two color indicators.